the government has disclosed its plan to pursue compensation from the Grand Bahama Port Authority through arbitration for the services provided in Freeport City. However, the leader of the opposition has promptly issued a warning cautioning that such a move could convey the wrong message to investors, particularly if it is perceived as a hostile takeover. Tonight, Chairman of the Progressive Liberal Party, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, and the Minister of Education, the Minister of Immigration, the Honorable Alfred Sayers, are responding to the opposition leader's concerns. Romiko Knowles has more in tonight's top story. Progressive Liberal Party Chairman the Honorable Fred Mitchell has disclosed the government's intention to seek compensation from the Grand Bahama Port Authority for what they believe is owed for services rendered in Freeport. The Grand Bahama Port Authority swiftly responding with disappointment, expressing their stance on the government's claim for expenses. Concurrently, the leader of the opposition issuing a warning to the government, raising concerns about what he perceives as an attempted hostile takeover. While the Progressive Liberal Party Chairman the Honorable Fred Mitchell is disputing that claim, asserting a misapplication of the term. This has nothing to do with taking over anything. There's an agreement between two parties. One party says, you owe me some money, and it's substantial in the millions. The other party says, no, I don't owe you the money. And there's a provision in the contract that says that if there's a dispute between the parties, one of the things you can do is go to arbitration. How that turns to be a hostile takeover? Uh, I'm not sure. Minister of Immigration Alfred Sayers weighing in on the misapplication of the term, arguing that there is no dispute between two private companies. Instead, there exists a contractual relationship between the government and the Grand Bahama Port Authority. That private contract has been reduced uh, to an act of parliament, the Hawksbill Creek Agreement, and under the agreement, the Port Authority has certain obligations to the government and to the people of the Bahamas. That is the first principle. He further clarifies that within the contractual agreements, provisions exist for disputes to be settled through arbitration. What we have here is what we call a debtor-creditor dispute. The government is saying by on the basis of the contract that certain monies that ought to have been paid to the government was not paid up to approximately 150 million dollars the opposition leader also expressing concern stating that arbitration sends the wrong message to investors however in response the minister of immigration alfred says says he begs to differ should investors be allowed to come into the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, owe the government over a hundred millions of dollars. And if the government seeks to recover what is owed, or by arbitration have it determined the amount that is owed, I mean, that's a reasonable uh, approach. What is inexplicable to us in the Progressive Liberal Party, put that hat on for a moment is why is the leader of the opposition coming to the rescue of this company? They agree with us that Freeport has become moribund as a result of the lack of uh, aggressiveness of this company in carrying out its functions under the Hawksbill Creek Agreement. They agree something needs to be done. 